everyone, this is Mr. West, and today we're doing a special Thanksgiving Cartesian art worksheet. This is from mathdrills.com. There will be a link in the description below. This is a great way to spice up your Thanksgiving using math and the coordinate plane. So what we need to do here, you have all these coordinates here. And what we're simply going to do is we're going to use each one of these to plot a point, connect the dots, and it will make a picture. So the first point in the coordinate plane will be the X, and it will be the left and the right direction. So if it's negative, we'll go to the left of the origin, which is the center, and if it's positive, we'll go to the right. And the Y controls the up and down. So the second coordinate is up and down. So each one of these will go ahead and plot each point. I'm going to do this quickly so we can see what it looks like real quick. Okay. So our first one, okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to look for our first point, and we can see that our first point is at 40, 18. So what that means is we're going to go 40 to the right and 18 to the left. So over here, you'll see that I'm at 40, okay? And what I'm looking for is I'm looking for 18. So this first number, again, is the x-axis, the left and right, and 18 is the y. So I'm looking for 18 here, and I come across, and I plot the intersection. A common mistake is they think the first number... They plot a point right at 40 and then the second point right at 18 to make two dots per parenthesis. That's not right. What you need to do is 40, 18, find the intersection, okay? And so the next point, if we go and take a look, is 39, 17. So we're going to go over to 39. So that's right here on the X. Again, the first one is left and right. And then we're going to go and find 17. So that's over here, and we're going to find the intersection of those two. And we're going to make a point and connect the lines just like that. So I connected the line, okay? And then that's what it looks like. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep going. So I have this as an, on another sheet already, and I'm just going to go ahead, and I recommend doing the same thing, plotting this point. I'm going to go ahead and just keep plotting these points as I go along, and you'll see what that looks like as I keep plotting them. Okay, so let's go ahead and keep doing that. Okay, so I'm going ahead and plotting each one as it comes along. Note, if it has a zero for the y-axis, okay, right here like this one, that's 35, 0. Okay, so that was this one right here. 0 means right on the line. So you see this point right here? Another strategy I would recommend doing is as you come up with each point, I would cross it off so you don't get confused with which point you just did. Okay, so I'm going to keep going along. Okay, I'm going to undo that. Okay, and then I'm going to keep going this way with my drawing. And you see I'm just connecting the dots, making the points. Okay, so there's that shape, and then I'm done with that shape. I connected all those dots, and now I'm moving on to number three, the last three over here. And I'm going to go back to my brown. I'm not exactly Bob Ross, but we can all try. Okay, so that's my final drawing with that. So that is great news for us. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can give it some little pizzazz. It's looking a little bare. So I'm just going to color it in a little bit here. Okay, connecting some shapes here. I'm going to undo that. And I'm just going to go ahead and like that. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep this going with a little bit of color. So I need to add a little bit of feathers here. I'm just going to have them swoop in a little bit like that. Add a few more in there that's not drawn. Okay, there we go. And then I want to fix this eye. I want to make this eye a little... That one's sticking out to me right now. So I'm going to get rid of those lines. I'm not going to do that with all of these, getting rid of the lines. This is Notability, by the way, the program I'm using. This is great for notes, obviously, as the name suggests. But it's great for drawing, too. If I go ahead and click on this magnifying glass... I know there's a magnifying glass in here somewhere. Right here. I can have an up-close picture. And I have this little camera here, and I can see things a little bit up close if I want, which is pretty cool. But I'm a big fan of just zooming in with my fingers. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and adjust my paint stroke here. I'm going to get this kind of light brown, and I'm going to make it really big because I need to get a lot of stuff done very quickly. Okay, uh, I forgot one thing. I want to make sure I connect the feet. Okay, so these feet are kind of funky. I'm just going to connect them like this. I'm going to have those feet separated. Since I already used brown, I'm just going to call it like two feet like this. Okay, now we have two feet. And then I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I kind of want a wing drawn here. 
And I'm just going to keep it real basic, just like that. Okay? And I used the wrong brown. I just realized that. Let me change the color of this brown. In Notability, it's super easy. Okay, I'm going to go here. Slide over to where I have my brown. And it's this dark one right there. And then it's fixed. Okay. Lastly, I'm going to do some highlighting here. So again, I changed my stroke to be a nice big one. And I'm just going to come around and I'm just going to go to town here. Okay. Now, one thing about the highlighter function, you got to be careful. You really ought to do it in one stroke. You're going to see I'm going to screw up here in a second. See how that overlap, which doesn't make a too big of a difference with feathers. We might be able to fix that later even. Okay, but you want to be careful. Usually, I like to be a little more careful. You see I have a lot of drawings in some of my other videos. Oops. you got to be real careful not to let up on your pencil. Okay, so I'm just going to get a nice little broad strike stroke right there. And then what else am I going to go for? I'm going to I'm going to highlight this in here. I am going to go back over the tail feathers. I am not going to shake them, but I am going to go over them again. You see I left up my stroke again, which Again, if I took my time, I could really make this pop, but I am just kind of looking to get this Nice quick video for you so you get the general idea of how to make this little turkey pop out a little bit. Okay, I am going to go ahead and give a second coat to the tail feathers. I want that to stick out a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to stick these tail feathers out a little bit more. Another way to do this relatively quickly, other than kind of doing this crayon sketching that I'm doing right now, is you can copy and paste these colors over. Oops, I got outside the lines. Everyone knows you're supposed to stay inside the lines. You, you can copy and paste this so it uh, darkens up over and over again. There's a bunch of different things that I'm not even experienced enough to do properly, but I'm going to show you what I mean by copy and paste. Okay, so I can copy and paste this, add a little bit of color, and actually I'm probably going to lighten up his stomach a little bit just to have it a little different than the rest of it. Okay, so I'm going to lighten that stomach up. Maybe add some white in there too. I'm going to wrap this up somewhat soon. Okay, so a little bit of white. That makes it look a little bit better. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use I'm going to use probably this dark color here. I'm going to use the pen function which goes right over highlighter. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. Ah, not that color. Make it a little bit thicker. Oops, forgot to choose the thickness. And I'm going to create some nice little tail feather markings, just like normal turkeys do. They have these cool little designs on their tail feathers right at the tips. Okay, and right here too. Okay, so right here at the tips. Add some tail feather magic. Okay. Okay, we already have the wings kind of going a little bit. I'm going to add some darkness to the wings. It looks a little flat. So I'm going to get some uh, little darkness here with this. Let's get, I'm going to add a little bit of darkness with this color. Okay, so a little bit of darkness with the wing just to give it a little bit of texture. And now I'm going to finish up with a little bit of orange just for the beak and some other features. So I need to find a nice orange to work with here. Oh, that's for my neck. So I'm going to use that for my neck and head. There we go. Turkeys are kind of ugly if you think about it. But this one's turning out not bad. Okay, I want uh, no, I wanted the pen. And I should really make that, that stripe a little bit. Um, I want a lighter orange than that. I need to make the back stripe a little bit wider, I think. It's not really popping out the way I intended it to. And then the gobble. I think we're going to make the gobble a bright red. And again, I should add some little bit of shading to this, but then we're just keeping it basic today. You can see the difference between the highlighter function and the pen function. The, the pen function looks a little too intense right there, so I'm actually going to get rid of it and go to the highlighter here. I'm going to thin that up. That's going to be too wide. And I'm going to go highlighter here. You'll notice it's not dark enough, though, so I'm going to go over it a few times just to darken it up. And that's what's cool about the highlighter function. You can kind of do some shading with it. And I'm going to use probably a similar color for the feet. And I'm not going to use the pen function. I'm going to use the highlighter again. But I am going to go over it maybe once or twice. Okay, so 
I think I'm done with my turkey. I think I'm going to add it a little bit thicker. Uh, right in this region. Okay, let me just change the thickness a little bit. And I'm going to make this a little bit wider. Like a wider little band. And I really ought to go over the, the outline of the feather again. So it doesn't look so disjointed. Which I'm going to do just a second. And it's going to be done. Okay, so that's what I mean. I wanted to go over that again. Just to get a little bit more neatness to it. I don't want to be outside the lines too much. And I'm almost done. Okay, so hopefully your turkey turned out just as nice. Hopefully you can follow along and this was a helpful tutorial. I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. Make sure you guys stay appreciative of everything that you have. I'm definitely appreciative of everyone that's been watching this program. Make sure to leave a comment if you need any help with math, homework, or any sort of math topic. I'm here for you. And I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.